Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be how I made the pattern for this little number. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So starting with the tracing. So I'm tracing here my back knit block onto some fresh paper. And I'm making sure when I do it that I'm transferring all of the markings from my block to that fresh paper. So I have a couple of notches at my arm and I also have my waist. So just drawing that waist in. And now I want to make the neckline on this pattern a little bit bigger. So I've just measured in one inch from the neck point along the shoulder seam. And now I'm just redrawing in that nice curved neck. Adding a one centimeter seam allowance and then separating the skirt from the bodice. I'm just going to complete my bodice pattern here and then I'll come back to the skirt. So to complete this pattern, I've added a one centimeter seam allowance at the waist and now just measuring that new neckline. I'll need that measurement later on when I come to make my extension, but you'll see that in a second. So that's my back bodice complete. So back to the skirt. So here I'm just measuring down the centre back seam and the side seam 23 inches. Drawing in my new hem line and then just to add hem and seam allowance. So I have a one inch hem allowance and then at the side seam and the centre back seam one centimetre. So I'm just cutting that piece out and adding a one centimetre seam allowance at the waist and labelling. So this skirt piece is going to be for my back and front. So I'm going to cut two out of each. So that's my skirt done. So now on to the front bodice. So just tracing around the bodice from the waist up. No need to trace the skirt here. Marking in my waist seam. And now I want to change the neckline on the front as well. So I've just measured down the centre front seven inches and measuring in from the neck point across the shoulder seam one inch. And now just drawing in a nice curved shape for my new neckline. And doing the same here as I did on the back. So I'm just measuring the new neckline. And as I mentioned, I'll need that measurement later on. And now I want to give myself a little bit more fabric here, just at the bottom of the neck in order to create the twist. So to do that, I'm using the slash and spread method. So I've marked a dot right at the bottom of the neckline and I'm drawing slash lines to the waistline and these lines are one inch apart. I'm going to spread those slash lines in a second but before I do that I just want to add some seam allowance. So along the side seam, around the arm and across the shoulder. And now just to separate the old neckline from this nice new pattern piece and I've just stuck that new pattern piece onto some fresh paper and now starting to slash and spread. So I've cut through my first line. I've spread that by one inch. And when I'm cutting, I'm cutting directly through the line you see me mark, cutting right down to the waist, but not through the waist. Spreading my cut piece by one inch and once I'm happy everything's nice and flat, just sticking it all in place. So marking my one inch, cutting through my slash line to the waist, making sure everything's lying nice and flat and sticking everything in place. So just drawing a line straight across the top of those slash lines and measuring that line to make sure that it is five inches. 
drawing myself a little dot to indicate the midway point. And then I'm going to start to draw in my extension. So at a right angle at that midway point, extending a line straight up and doing exactly the same again. One line at the first dot and one at the last. And to finish off my extension, I now need the measurements for my front and back neckline. So the front you'll remember was 11 inches and the back four and three quarter inches. So just adding those together to get the full extension, which is 15 and three quarter inches. So now you're just going to measure up those lines you just seen me draw, 15 and three quarter inches. my neck extension done just to add seam alliance just where you see me indicate here so that's my seam alliance all in place and now just marking in some notches this will help me out when I come to sew and labeling so I'm going to cut two pieces and now for the sleeve on this pattern, I've just traced around my knit sleeve block. I've measured down from the armpit nine inches to give me a nice elbow length sleeve and just given myself a one centimeter seam allowance the whole way around. And for the last of my pattern pieces, I want to add a cuff to the bottom of my sleeve. So to do that, I've drawn a line adjacent to the bottom of my sleeve and then at right angles to that, drawn in my side seams. They're both five inches long and just adding seam allowance up the side seams along the top of the cuff. The bottom of the cuff will be cut on the fold. So just labeling here. So my sleeve, I'll cut two. And for my cuff, I'll cut two, but as I say, these will be on the fold. And just to cut out my pattern piece, so that is this pattern complete. So I have my back bodice with my neckline nicely reshaped, my front bodice with that nice extension up around the new shaped neck, and my skirt, and that one is for the front and the back, and then my sleeve and that nice cuff. And this is how that pattern looks when it's all sewn up. This one has some really lovely details. That gorgeous twist at the front, the cuff, nice little detail to the back of the neck. And if you want to see how I made this one, how I sewed it up, that will be on my channel on Friday. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks!